Ask any coach what qualities they value in players, and the words compete factor and versatility would certainly be a part of the answer. Today's guests tick those boxes when it comes to their play this season. Please welcome from the small southwestern town of Air, Ontario, Ben McFarland, and from the Acadian heartland of St. Marie de Kent, Patty LeBlanc. Patty LeBlanc, Ben McFarland, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. All right, guys. So, uh, one of the things we always like to do, um, like to kind of identify how it is it's ended up choosing you, PEI. Um, Patty, for you, it's a little bit of a full circle moment uh, coming back to Charlottetown. Ben, a bit of a new experience for you coming from the Guelph Storm, but. Maybe Ben, can you take us through what was your what was your process in terms of what kind of led you here to UPI? Uh, I definitely had a lot of friends that have come out to the East Coast to play university, and okay. I've always heard that it's the best. Who would universe. that be? Uh, well, Pearson. Yep. So Caleb Pearson was one of the main reasons that I came specifically to UPI. Oh, okay. But I knew I had my heart set out on the East Coast. I just I knew that it was the best university league in Canada. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I just started talking to Caleb, and he was just telling me about all the great things here, and they ended up having an extra room in their house as well. So it oh, kind of cool. sealed the deal for me, and nice. yeah, that's why I chose here. Nice. And. Um, we don't get a lot of Guelph players. Like, there's not. I was kind of thinking back. There's not a lot of players that have come from Guelph in the past. So yeah. obviously, it wasn't inter play inter team connection or anything like that. Yeah. 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 I also uh, talked to Forby a lot, and he kind of sold me on the program and how his style of play kind of fits into my yeah. game as well. So. Yeah. Just coming from a small town, like you're from a small town here in Ontario. Does that? Is that an attraction coming to like a smaller city like Chicago? Yeah, yeah, I always come and people say it's small and I'm like, this seems like big city <laughs> to me. But uh, that never really kind of came into factor, never but factor, not okay. really, yeah. Yeah, Patty, how about you? Yeah, for me, just playing my junior here in Charlottetown was like a big part and I already took some classes here in UPI, so. Yep. And I wanted to stay close to home, so it was pretty, easy decision for me to come here. Sure. And uh, your your route kind of led you uh, Charlottetown, uh, Ramuski, Maritime Junior League, back to UPI. You kind of touched all bases. Yeah, it was fun to to play for all those teams and I had a great experience with all of them. So Yeah. So if you look at your teams, uh, the Guelph Storm, Charlottetown Islanders, a couple of your former teammates have had some pretty big things happening uh, recently. Of course, Lucas Cormier, a uh, uh, fellow resident of St. Marie de Kent, had the opportunity to do the rookie lap in the Vegas third star performance in his opening game. Guy like Matty Poitra played with you in Guelph last year. Yeah. Goes in the World Junior Hockey Championship, makes the Boston Bruins, my other favorite team, <laughs> as an as an 18 year old. Kind of feel pretty good about having guys like that and seeing them achieve at that level, Pat? Yeah, for sure. Especially coming from uh, such a small town where we come from, it's first uh, player to make it to the NHL, and it was surreal to see him achieve his goal. I think he. He worked really hard to get there, and it's, it's good to see him uh, get rewarded. Were you surprised he made it so quickly? Not really. I knew it was a matter of time. I mean, he had a really good season last year in Anderson, so yeah. I think it was pretty good. Yeah. How about uh, Matty Poitra? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I, to me, he still seems like that little kid that <laughs> I played with for a couple of years. And uh, But yeah, it's obviously cool just you know, you grow with them and you become very close and yeah. it's just cool to see them be successful and yeah. um, pretty amazing to make the NHL as an 18 year old. Right. And then the World Juniors, it's more fun obviously when you know the guys playing and you're watching. Are you a regular watcher of the World Juniors? Yeah. Like you, yeah. You'd watch it every year, but yeah. this year kind of brought yeah. a little bit of a def different yeah. level of excitement. Yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely better to watch it when you have a, you're, more, you're rooting for them definitely. Sure, yeah. sure. So you guys have been the, um, the beneficiaries, I would say, of some pretty good coaches in your time. Uh, you think about your situation, George Burnett, guy who's been around 
he was back and ref uh, coaching when I was refereeing in America. <laughs> he, he was coaching the Cape Breton Oilers. So yeah. That was back in the early 90s. Yeah. You know, you've been a guy, John DeCourcy, a guy in Moncton Flyers who's been the lifeblood of that program. A guy like Jim Holton, you know, who's been such a, an impactful coach here at the major junior level. When you think about the coaches, how do you think they have helped to shape you as players over the course of your time? Uh, maybe I'll start with you, Ben. Yeah, I think just having a coach that's been around for that long, he's pretty much seen every scenario in the book. So I think if you just listen to him, and I think what George really helped me out was just leadership and being able to lead the younger guys on the team and yeah. just being making smart decisions, really. Good. Pat? Yeah, I think for me, like going back to Midget with John, I think Moncton always had a really good program. Probably He's probably one of the main reasons why. Yeah. And same with Jim, I mean, we've always had a really strong team here in Charlottetown, so I think both guys helped me grow my game and be more of a complete player. Right, and you're kind of morphed into a different player with, you know, you came out of the major midget or major U18, you were the top scorer in the league. You kind of had to re-identify yourself a little bit when you got to the major junior level, didn't you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, here in Charlottetown, uh, I think Jim preaches like playing defensively, so I think that was good for me just to be more of a complete player and grow my game that way. Sure. And if you think about those organizations, you know, Ben, you had a good run as a young, I think you might have been 17 when you went to the yeah. Memorial Cup yeah. in, in Halifax yeah. with, with Guelph Storm, Liam Howell and Cedric Ralph, I think, were yeah. on that team. Uh, Patty, you were part of a, you know, a series of runs with the Charlottetown Islanders, didn't quite get over the finish line, but I guess what did that sort of tell you or, or help you in terms of your guys' development as we're trying to move towards a championship here? What's that tell you in terms of growing your game as being, as you mentioned, Ben, a leader and working towards a, uh, a championship level? Yeah, I think, uh, well, with the golf, um, I was technically a call-up that year. I played my full year in Cambridge in your B, but I, I came up full-time in the playoffs. Yep. Um, I think just being around them every day, seeing their everyday habits, seeing how hard it's going to be, like winning championships are not it's easy. Not easy. Uh, Guelph that year, I think they went down every series. Like they went down 3-0 their first. They, That's right. They were called the comeback kids. That's right. So yes. it's just a lot of adversity and how they were dealing with it. And yep. There's a lot of players on that team that are playing pro now. So I think just being able to see those pro habits and um, how to become a champion, I think will, my experiences will help when we become a champion here. <laughs> Good. Patty? Yeah, it's kind of similar to him. In Charlottetown here, we had a obviously a really good run. It was the first time they had made it to the finals, so it was a really good experience for for us. Sure, it was a buzz. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so if you look at we're 20 games in, two thirds away through your first year, uh, two of 18 rookies on the team. Um, <laughs> I still get a I still have a hard time getting my head around it. Yeah. But anyway, that's okay. Um, what have you learned? What kind of what, what sort of uh, things have you come to realize about AUS playing at the AUS level? Uh, Patty, maybe we'll start with you. Yeah, I think it's uh, obviously, I think the best league in Canada for university and it's a really fast-paced hockey and I think as the year goes along, I think we, we grow together and so far it's been going pretty good. Yep. Ben? I think it's very much like Major Junior. Uh, a lot of the players that are in this league are ex-Major Junior players in yep. Canada in general. And yep. I think it, uh, just the speed and the strength, like we're playing older players. So yep. it makes sense to me why we're playing 30 games because I don't think we'd be able to survive <laughs> playing the full 60. But uh, not at that level. no, definitely no. not. Yeah, it's a pretty rough game. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome though. Yeah. So on your individual styles, you know, you guys are very uh, different. Uh, you're, it's not really hard to tell what kind of player Ben, ben McFarlane <laughs> is. In your face, high tempo, high energy. Yeah. Patty LeBlanc, a little more on the cerebral side. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks around, analyzes the play, where do I got to go, what do I got to be? Is that a pretty accurate assessment of the types of players that you are and what you kind of bring to the table? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I try to be a, a guy who can be trusted and just be responsible in both ends of the ice. So that's something I 
try to do here. One of the things that's kind of jumped out at me a little bit with you is your, your face-off prowess. Uh, you're, I got you running around somewhere around 54%. A pretty impressive for a first year player. Yeah, I think that's something I've always wanted to be good at and here 4B wants wants us to be good in face off so I try to be as good as I can. Uh, is this something that you've always been good at or is this something that has evolved over time? Yeah, over my just even minor hockey uh, my coaches always like preached. Uh, you were the guy. Yeah, yeah. and they basically like it's important, like a, it's like a battle, so. You should get in a little competition with Harry McKeever. <laughs> Harry was pretty good back in his day yeah. here at UPEI, so I'd like to see you two go head to head, see who comes out on top. Yeah. Okay? You guys, you arrange that for practice yeah. sometimes. Right? Benny, how about you? I mean, you're, 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 you're kind of filling multiple spots. You're playing on the power play, playing on the penalty kill. Yeah. Do you take any greater pride in one or the other, or is it just straight on, full on all the time? <laughs> I well uh, with Guelph I I played on the power play but not as big of a role as here right. but uh, PK was definitely my main yeah. thing um, my old teammate me and Cooper Walker we we played PK together for the four years in Guelph okay so I take a lot of pride in that but it, it's also yeah. nice to kind of try to understand more about the power play and like what works and what doesn't yeah. um, but like Patty too I, I like to be responsible and I like to be depended on and play a 200 foot game and sure. play physical as well here and there. You know, you're checking those boxes. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Um, you had a shorty earlier in the year against the yeah. old UDM Aigle Le Bleu there. Yeah. Uh, Patty probably didn't like that too. <laughs> but you know, is that a thing for you? Like, have you have you got a fair number of shorties? Yeah, I think. Uh, well, with Kieran, we, we call him yeah, KG, yeah. but yeah. he's like, I've never killed with anybody like him. He's <laughs> he's so unpredictable, but it, it throws yeah. all the other power plays yeah. off and. Yeah. I, I don't know how many, like we've had two on ones, more two on ones in PK than I think I've had normal. <laughs> it's it's de definitely different to with him, but oh, crazy. I know. Yeah. yeah like it's off the he just doesn't give up, too. So yeah. I, I love killing with him, and Good. we definitely uh, have clicked. some offense in the PK. Yeah. Good stuff. So uh, hockey's not your only love. I bet the golf courses in Prince Edward Island brought you to Prince Edward Island. That could definitely be it. Yeah, that could definitely be it. Yeah, yeah. Are you a pretty good golfer? I I, I like to say so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I saw you swing. You hit a pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I, I I try to play a lot during the summer. Uh, I like to play with my dad back home a lot. But good. yeah, I came out here last uh, June, I think, just for a week to. Uh, I think it was June or May, and I played pretty much all the courses around here, and then. Pretty much committed after that. Got so. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, Crowbush, obviously, yeah. just the views. Yeah. But um, yeah, we play. I was a member briefly at Belvedere, Belvedere yeah. and love that course too. It's like two minutes from the house too, yeah, so it's, it's pretty, pretty perfect. Yeah. yeah, love the golf out here. Yeah. So, um, boys, what are you studying? What's what's going on in school? Like, uh, what's the uh, what are the plans? Uh, Patty, you mentioned that you have some credits that you accumulated during your time here at the, with. With the Islanders, what's the, what's the school looking like? Yeah, I'm currently enrolled in business, but I don't really have a plan for the future. We'll yeah. just see how where see it lays me at. Sure. Penny? I'm in sociology and anthropology, so Bachelor of Arts. Yeah. But uh, eventually probably going to do the teacher's college here. Okay. Maybe, yeah. We'll see Good. what happens. But, yeah. So we might have you for five years. Maybe, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. All right, boys. Listen, thanks for coming on. Great to great to have a chat. Great yeah. to great to meet you. Well, we've met before. Yeah. You know. <laughs> anyway, uh, continue good success the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank you.